This episode of The Last Resort is brought to you by My Wallet and My Time. That's right, My Wallet, My Time keeps you in the comfort knowing that you're getting nothing but what I'm thinking without the fear of some sort of a sales job or political correctness. Let's go for a ride. Now this is a special episode that I actually came up with a thesis before I started riding the bike. But before we get started, let's go through the tunnel here and see if the Fentanyl Brigade is still clustered or if maybe they've moved on. Hold your breath. Well, looks like the occupation has dimmed a little bit there since the last time we rode this way. Here's an amusement park. If you guys are up for any amusement, there you go. There's your amusement feature for today. Oh, we got one more tunnel. Who knows, we might have a little bit of action down here. Some of you think I'm nuts for riding through these tunnels. Especially this one right here under the Black Canyon Freeway. Some of you think I'm nuts, but you know, here's my opinion on that. Um, folks, I'm a taxpayer and I have every bit of right to use these, if not a little more, because I'm continuing, even though I'm retired, I continue to still have to pay income tax. And since I'm paying that um, to the city, to the state, wherever, I have a right to use these trails and I'm gonna use them without fear. If something happens, if something goes sour, so be it. But now that I've completely deviated from the subject, from the thesis that you clicked on, let's get into that thesis. Now I wanna tell you, first of all, um, I've got no notes. I haven't really thought about a whole lot. So I'm basically just gonna kinda wing it. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna kinda wing it and talk about should seniors ride fast e-bikes? And I am a senior and I ride a fast e-bike, but does that mean everybody should? So looking at my stats, it seems like everybody is 35 and older for the most part. There's some of you younger folks out there, and I'm, I'm glad you're riding along. Hey, that, this is for everybody. This is for everybody. Well, most of you are, are, and probably a bulk of you, are actually around 55 to 65. I think that's the bulk of you. And there's a lot of you older than that. And I'm talking serious percentage points, not like 2 or 3%. I'm talking like 14% range. Uh, let's go this way. So I'm thinking a lot of you, you know, you see a lot of these uh, senior bike rider videos on YouTube and they're the usual suspects, right? They're the usual suspects. They're the, you know, I'm not gonna start, I'm not gonna keep naming brands because I've beaten them up enough in my previous videos. You know who I'm talking about. Oh, let's get some emissions for this electric bike right there. But you know who I'm talking about and those are the bulk of the videos you see on YouTube. You know, it's got the it's got the smiling silver couple, you know, riding with their, you know, all the politically correct clothing and garb and things of that nature. Just a photographic moment. Looks like a uh, fun, looks like a mutual fun pamphlet picture. Okay. So I'm thinking to myself, seeing this all over the place and bored to absolute tears, by the way. I'm thinking to myself, there's got to be a lot of seniors like myself who think to themselves, yeah, that kind of looks like fun, but I don't know. You know, if you're a senior that's ridden a motorcycle, you know, at any point in your life, um, you're probably gonna find those kind of bikes a little bit pedestrian. Now, if you're like me, you sold your motorcycle long ago. You know, when people started sitting at green lights, playing with their phones in their cars, that's when, that's when I sold my last Harley. I was like, you know what? If they're sitting at green lights, they're probably gonna be running red ones. You know, watching people drift into, into their lane. You look through, look through that tinted glass and see that square phone they're playing with. So you got rid of your Harley years ago, so you still kind of want a little excitement. Yeah, you're grayer, yeah, you're older, yeah, you're retired, but there's party that says, you know what, I'm not, I just, last time I checked, I'm not dead, you know what I mean? So you think to yourself, well, you know, even though I don't want to ride, in the streets with uh, all the craziness, you know, I'd still like to get my head in the wind. I still miss the uh, gyroscopic effect of riding upon two wheels, you know? And maybe you've tried riding a re regular pedal bike like myself and 
It's kind of cool first, but after a while you realize it's, uh, well, it gets kind of mundane, you know? So you're starting to thinking, well, you know, maybe electric's the way to go, you know? If you're retired, you have a little bit of disposable income, so they're maybe not that expensive. Maybe they are, depending on your situation. I'm not, I'm not here to be presumptive on anybody's wallets, but uh, you're, you're finding this is quite affordable, easy to get into. So then you start questioning yourself, well, I see these faster e-bikes out there, and I see a lot of these people showcasing slower e-bikes, maybe saying that you shouldn't ride a fast e-bike, because number one, you're probably gonna get in trouble, uh, maybe physically, you might be in trouble uh, with the law if you get caught or do something stupid. But I'm here to tell you this, folks. If you're a senior rider, if you've managed to live this long, and you're a senior, you understand when you can kick it in and when you gotta take it easy. You know, I gotta tell you, I'm gonna admit this too, guys. You know, I, I have a lot of videos where I'm just simply hauling ass. I mean, look at my prior videos, you see me hauling ass. But uh, full admission here, guys, full disclosure, my average speed at the end of a ride is about eh, 18 miles an hour. Maybe I hot dog it a little bit when the camera's on, but I also hot dog it just because I find it personally fun, you know? But I'm not always going that fast. And, and you've got to know when you can get away with it. And I'm just here to say that if you've managed to live this long, life hasn't kicked your ass yet, you probably have a good grip on when you can get away with it and when you can't. And I've said this before, my friends, um, you can always ride a fast bike slow, but you can't ride a slow bike fast. That's just the nature of the game right now and what we have for sale in the world of e-bikes. You guys see people on YouTube doing stairs and stuff? Yeah. Ah. Oh, 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 there, we just did some stairs, guys. You happy? A little off-road. Let's climb this little hill here. It's pretty, pretty soft stuff here. Um, not a problem at all, not a problem at all. But you know, keep in mind as a senior, um, you're not buying a motorcycle, you're not riding on the streets. Well, normally you're not riding on the streets. If you're like me, you're trying to avoid those damn things like the plague. You like places like this. And if you live in an area or maybe you recreate, maybe you RV travel to an area with, that is like this, um, it might be the way to go. I'm not here to encourage or discourage you from buying a 60 volt e-bike or a 52 volt e-bike. I mean, you know in your heart of hearts whether or not you want one. You're watching this for maybe some confirmation bias or we're just raising it for further discussion. Once you're out of this video, you can think about it on your own a little bit. But you as a senior will know whether or not you wanna go fast. And maybe, maybe you don't wanna go fast, but maybe you just want the capability to, right? Maybe you drive a Corvette. Do you drive 170 every day? Of course not. Heck, you may not, you may not never enter triple digits, but you like in the back of your head knowing that, ah, oh, should the need arise, you can do it. So again, I'm not here to encourage or discourage riding or buying fast e-bikes. I'm just helping you mentally think about and process it. And this doesn't just go for seniors, guys. This could go for anybody. If you've never ridden a motorcycle in your life, but you've ridden pedal bicycles, this could actually apply to you as well. You know, do you have the capability physically and mentally? What's in it for you? It was a fun ride. I'm having a, I'm having a hard time trying to um, sit here and run my mouth because I'm just like having so much fun just kind of cruising around here. I just shut the camera off and just go tool around for a bit, but uh, we'll keep it rolling. I'm going to head up this way. Um, let's see, where were we? You know, if you're thinking about getting a uh, like a 60 volt e-bike, that's a step through. Okay, why are you getting a step through? You're probably getting a step through because maybe you don't, maybe you don't have the capability to step over, okay? 
And that makes sense. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Hey, get your head in the wind. But I'm telling you this, if you don't have the ability to get on a step over bike, I mean, are there gonna be other factors that are gonna hinder you from riding fast safely? You see what I'm saying? I'm not saying that's the case, but I'm just saying these are things that we have to consider. Now me personally, if I get to a point to where I have to, I can't ride a step over bike, I doubt I'll ride anymore because there's probably something, something going on with me physically, maybe mentally. And I'll give it up and move on to, heck, I don't know, uh, playing World of Tanks or World of Warships for the rest of my life on my computer. Not that I don't spend a lot of time doing that already, okay? But I think, you know, seniors, you know, you get into these things where you can only travel so much. People say, oh, I'm gonna retire and travel. But if you're kind of like me, you're like, yeah, traveling's kind of cool, but it's also kind of overrated, especially if you're a guy like me. I like sleeping in my own bed every night. I mean, I go into a hotel room and there's always this, this back of my mind kind of kind of gives me the willies thinking about what they didn't clean or <laughs> what looks clean to the eye, but maybe isn't that clean uh, under a microscope kind of thing. So I get kind of squeamish. So traveling's not a big thing for me. I will travel uh, when I feel the need arise. And it's always short term, which leads me to this. I end up with a lot of time in my hands. You as a senior, a lot of time in your hands. You can only do so much yard work. Uh, there's only so much maintenance to do on maybe your vehicles. There's only so many times you can run to the store and just walk around, just look at shit. Um, so maybe it's a good idea to get a bike that actually makes your eyes light up a little bit. And sometimes that can be a 60, maybe a 52 volt e-bike. Heck, it could be a 48 or a 36. What am I saying? Listen to me. Again, I don't mean to encourage it, but I'm just saying a lot of these answers you know reside deep inside your own mind. You know, some people say it's a problem, but some seniors just don't really, well, they don't age mentally as fast as their physical bodies do. I've been accused more than once of being one of those kind of people. You know, they tell you you're immature. You know, you're still a kid, blah, blah, blah. They kind of mean it as an insult. With me, I take it as a compliment. You know what? When you get to my age, realize life's so damn fast that, uh, heck, live it your own way, man. Follow your own bliss. As long as you're not harming anybody or stealing or, you know, those kind of things, moral issues, uh, stay the course, you know? And if you're a senior and you're like, man, I just miss having a motorcycle. You know, I'd like to get a motorcycle just for maybe a Sunday ride, you know, just around the neighborhood. And then you think to yourself, well, I gotta buy the bike. I've gotta maintain it. I've gotta insure it. I've gotta tag it on and on just for that once in a while thing. Yeah, again, an e-bike might be screaming your name. Fast e-bike? I don't know, that's up to you, my friend. Oh, check this out. This is kind of new turf for me, friends. I'm, I'm glad you guys are with me. Uh, just kind of exploring some of these areas. A lot of these areas have a big, uh, they have the fentanyl brigade, you know, troops all over the place, but I don't know if they're cleaning it up or cracking down or what, but uh, again, my tax dollars at work. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. See, us senior e-bikers, we know when to slow down. We wouldn't go ripping past those people at, you know, 40. No, that's why when we have sports cars and things of that nature, we get the good rates. But we know exactly when to apply, you know, a level head to situations that require it. Anyway, these are just random thoughts, guys. Uh, there's no order or rhyme to it. Uh, I'm sure I've missed a few topics or a few issues that you might uh, you might say that's up for consideration. Feel free to leave them in the comments. You know, most of them I'll answer. You know, sometimes I don't need to answer a lot of comments because they speak for themselves. You know, the last video I did, you know, we talked about, you know, I did the Wired Freedom 500 mile review. Uh, let's see, where am I at now? Oh gosh, now I'm at 640, now I'm at 647 miles. 
And we talked about that issue with the battery. You guys remember that? And I, I didn't feel like it was fully charging all the way, but uh, I don't know what's going on, but now it's like charging to 67 volts. So I, you know, this is just kind of an, an adjunct to this video. So at this point, I'm just gonna keep rolling with it. Ooh, Sam, I think we can go through. Let's see Sam, Ooh, let's see how this thing's up. Oh, not bad, fat, fat tire box and Sam do pretty good. Oh, yeah. But I'm just gonna keep rolling with it. And I'm, here's kind of my plan. Like my plan is this, if the battery gets to a point to where, let's say it won't charge past 65, I think what I'm gonna do, oh, let's go this way. I'm gonna take the bike, I'm gonna zip tie the charger and the owner's manual to the back rack. And I think I might just take it up to Goodwill and donate it. And, you know, get another bike. And I'm not sure, I, I might get another wired. I might, uh, might try something else, I don't know. Anyway, that's just kind of an update uh, to my 500 mile review video. And again, the batteries, batteries seems to be holding kind of, kind of good. I'm not gonna sit and nitpick over a 10th of a volt, okay? Anyway, guys, I think that's going to conclude our episode for today. I appreciate you guys watching this far, man. And uh, after you're done watching this video, uh, get out from that screen and get out here and enjoy this big blue marble. And until next time, you take care of yourself. This is The Last Resort. Talk to you soon.